Okay. Um, we better move uh, right on along, I think, okay. well, to you know, our next guest. We've been talking about uh, little gifts for the holidays, gifts for the holidays, and I think that... You, I know you're going to just, you're going to love this gift. I haven't seen this yet. You've been keeping it in its little bag like well, a, like as a, we like a talk, ferret or something. Well, as we talk, I will take <laughs> each little piece out of the bag and watch what goes on with your eyes. So let's welcome him to the show. Brent Thomas, Bike Wrappers. Welcome to the Outspoken Cyclist. Thanks for joining us tonight. Well, thank you very much for having me. So, you know, I saw the advertisement for your product, Bike mm-hmm. Wrappers. And I said to myself, you got to be kidding me. Come on. And then uh, I contacted you, and you sent me the package, and I opened them up, and I went, oh, my goodness, these are really cool. And so <laughs> these are really cool. How did you come up with this concept and just explain to the listeners exactly what it is? Sure. Well, first I'll start with what it is, then I'll get into how I came up with it. Okay. Um, so what it is, bike wrappers are a set of reflective wraps that go around the three main parts of your bike, too. Um, so you can kind of think of them as reflective clothing for your bike. You can kind of think of it like your your bike can even wear spandex now because <laughs> it, it, it's a uh, stretchy material. It attaches by Velcro, um, and it's reversible. So one side is reflective. The other side is a designer pattern. So during the day when you don't need the reflective side, you can flip it around. Um, and it accommodates bikes. Um, you know, all bikes are different sizes and dimensions and stuff. But I I went through a, a long process of designing these things so they fit almost all conventional style bikes. So they fit frames anywhere between about a 4 and an 8-inch circumference. And they also accommodate your bottle cages, um, both on the down tube and the seat tube. And, uh, yeah, so they're, they're meant to protect uh, cyclists and motorists um, at night so they can be seen. And uh, it, it is a very, very reflective product. I, I know that very firsthand. So um, the silver outside material, which is the reflective material, is, is it a specific name? Is there a name for this material? You know, it isn't a uh, – there isn't a specific name. I found the – material actually in china once i came up with the idea it's very Um, cool it's just it it, feels really good it feels like it's really a high quality material is it waterproof um well it's not waterproof but it is machine washable so you know if i know they take a beating and if you're riding at any time during the day or night you know your bike is gonna get some use so they're meant to be washed they're uh they're 65 percent polyester 35 percent nylon Okay. It's a very, very unique uh, material and took a while to find it. So I have another question. You said that the inside is designer and the one, the ones that you sent me are black and white and silver polka dots. Are they all that? That is the design on the inside or do you have other designs? Um, we do have another design right now that's in stock. It's a blue and white uh, stripe and we're in the works of developing a lot of other uh, designs. So hopefully after Christmas we'll have um, more designs, but... You know, if you don't want to show the designer part, the uh, reflective part is you know, what you leave on, and, and uh, you know, no one ever sees the other side if you don't want that. Oh, well, but I think the other side's very cool. It's like getting a new hairdo, <laughs> you know? You get a new do for your bike. So so it, now tell us how you came up with this. Yeah, so uh, thankfully I don't have any kind of unfortunate story about why I came up with them. Like a, a family or friend was you know hurt by a motorist or anything like that. It was more a... Just me brainstorming and a, uh, a matter of always thinking of new things and how to improve products. So, you know, I'm a big cyclist here in San Francisco, so I do a lot of biking at night. There's a lot of good bike routes. There's a lot of good bike lanes in the street. And, you know, I, I have my front and back light on my bike. But as the more that I bike in the city, the more I realize uh, that wasn't quite enough. Because, you know, most motors don't see you on the side. They don't see you from different angles. And one great thing about the bike drivers is they're visible from every different angle. I've been hit in San Francisco by taxi cabs and other cars, and thankfully it's nothing serious, and that's the stuff I was able to walk away from. But, you know, as something that is an issue with me personally, I always think of ways to improve things. That's how I eventually came up with this. Well, i got to tell you, you know, you're going to – every week we've been doing this kind of little – gift idea moving forward toward the holidays 
And this is this is our gift for the week. And I have to say, it would be an awesome gift for somebody who commutes, who rides at night, who wants to be safer. I'm very impressed with the product. I think it's excellent. Well, I can't tell you how happy that makes me uh, when I hear feedback like that from cyclists like yourself. I've seen an awful lot of people get hurt on bicycles. And I think this is just a fabulous idea. Obviously, we can sell them in the bike shop, but where else can listeners order this and see it? Sure. So they're available online on bikewrappers.com. And coming in, in 2010, we're working on a packaging now, a retail packaging, and have a long list of retailers that would like to uh, shelve it. So hopefully in early 2010, we'll be across the country with some distributors as well. Well, I hope you'd use an environmentally friendly package. We're working on that. Okay. Well, you know what, Brent? Keep doing what you're doing to think of cool ideas because this one's excellent, and I wish you a lot of luck with it. Well, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad you guys like it and, uh, and got some good use out of the, uh, the test and, and continue to get that. Well, we will uh, let people know, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Thanks for taking time tonight, and we'll talk to you again. Well, you do the same. Happy uh, pre-Christmas. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, well, well. Look Diane. At, yes. You're not leaving the studio with these things. Really? <laughs> no, you're not. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am really, really pleased that you like them because I thought I was just being this kind of weird person. I think they are very cool. Oh, man. This is, I, I, I wish this wasn't radio because um, you just have to see these things. Oh, you just close your eyes and imagine yeah. these silver cylinders. I love the fabric. I love the. I love it. I yeah. think it's awesome. Well, I, you know, And I'm glad you, you like them. Well, you know that I'm an inveterate night rider. Yes. And uh, this is just adds to the, the safety factor, the visibility factor. It um, as the little card said, I was looking there, lightsabers for your bike. Right, bike and, reflectors on steroids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to know more about bike wrappers and see them in action, uh, there's a little video on the on the website, bikewrappers.com. Okay. But, and the, yeah, they're you know, pretty the, cool. Uh, I'm glad you like them, and so... Um, I'll make them a present for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will bring back a full review in a week or so. Okay, good. And, uh, That's good. You know well, and and I think they'd make a nice gift, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, they would. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know we don't